let's perform the same tests again. Oh, oh, it scared me, man. So I'm just gonna. But I do have some of the sauce from the leaves here. This way, so quad will pick up some speed. I'm gonna come full forward into me. Ah, ah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Ali Shama here, and welcome to this interesting and exciting video that you have requested for and you heard about it in my previous recent videos of Hafsan Zeno Mini Pro. Now let me describe the test that is requested is what if you fly or you are flying Hafsan Zeno Mini Pro in normal mode with obstacle avoidance on at full speed will it detect the object in front of it and stop in time or will it collide with the object and crash. So that was the test. Now, before I perform this test, uh, please listen to these things that I'm going to say very, very carefully. Number one, anything that moves and has brakes, no matter it's a car, motorcycle, human, animal, horse, donkey, a bee flying, <clears throat> a bird flying, no matter what, if a thing moves and it has brake and it detects an object in front of it, the, the formula is, what is the speed, how far you start braking, the distance that you detect an object and start braking, and how hard you are braking. So once again, what is the object moving speed, how fast the object is moving, when the object starts braking, and how hard the object is braking, the moving object. Based on these factors, uh, it is calculated if the uh, if the moving object will hit the stationary object in front of it or not. <clears throat> now, when it comes to drones, no matter Hudson or DJI drones, flying them at certain speeds, sensors are detecting the objects in front of them. Now the question is how far the sensor will detect the object how hard it will start breaking and when it will start breaking and given these factors when and where drone will stop or crash hit the object so all drones you have to keep these factors in mind and if you understood this thing I may crash it today but I'm willing to test this and if you want to do this test please do it at your own risk don't blame me that I said you know if this quad stops in my test does not mean it's gonna stop in your test. So if you wanna perform it, do it at your own risk. All right, now, uh, my recent video shows that I have calibrated the front and rear obstacle avoidance vision positioning system sensors, okay? And I have also cleaned the sensors before flight. I'm gonna clean them again. First off, I did this test without calibrating these sensors, front and rear sensors. So go ahead and check out these tests before calibration. <laughs> Enjoy, because results are surprising. Turn on the obstacle avoidance and test if the obstacle avoidance is working. Oh, oh, it scared me, man. <laughs> it actually stopped. It actually stopped. I shouldn't try it in my sub. People don't do that. Try it in the wall. Anyway, I'm just going to move away. <laughs> I scared myself man. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come down a little bit uh, to the wall you know the wall is very low because if it is above the wall maybe it won't detect the terrain not not sure but anyway let's do it at the low altitude and I'm gonna go full forward oh it stopped in time but because of the speed it still went forward and to be honest i pulled back on on the stick and it actually cut some of the shrubs right here so it does a stop but hmm, well worth a try let's run it into myself at full speed and i will be able to move away if it doesn't stop okay here we go coming 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 okay it did start breaking but it stopped right where I am this means it could have 
could have been a hit if I didn't move because I was right here so let's try right here lots of shrubs okay in the fence let's see it goes forward or not full forward it's not going okay very good distance now I'm gonna go backwards and come full forward so here we go full forward in normal mode stopped it did stop this time at good distance didn't hit it okay let's try the rear obstacle sensors on this big object right here okay and now I'm gonna come back full as you can see I'm pushing full I'm uh, pulling full and the speed is not as fast as the forward side and this time it has stopped a really a very very safe distance so let's do the front obstacle avoidance once again I'm gonna go back until it stops detects the wall stopped full forward okay you see I cut a couple of shrubs right there leaves and almost went in and you can see the shrubs the leaves on the camera as well on the quad as well so here we come forward stopped okay that was nice let's go back pick up more speed stopped by itself come forward at full speed look at that it is stopped and came back slightly didn't hit all right welcome back so you enjoyed the test and I have cleaned the drone all these green parts but I do have some of the sauce from the leaves here however I have made sure that the sensors were cleaned nicely before doing the calibration and now that is calibrated for vision positioning let's perform the same tests again and see what are the results so what I did the rare, rare obstacle avoidance I tested here because the wall altitude is too low and the front obstacle avoidance I will test in those beautiful leaves and shrubs okay down okay and I'm gonna go obstacle avoidance is on winds are coming I'm gonna go back full back it is stopped so at a very very good distance if you are flying nice and slow just like this okay you can see it detects and stop right here now do remember and do watch where it starts breaking okay so once again let me see if I'm coming it's not detecting any obstacle I'm coming forward and right here right here it detects okay and one two three it starts to break all right so let's do it people I'm going backward at full full stick back you can see and it actually stopped right there very very far maybe it's detecting my solar panel right there so I'm just gonna Well, there's a call. One moment. <laughs> okay, so there was maybe, maybe there was a question. What if you're flying the drone and you receive a call? What happens? Well, you just saw I received a call. Nothing happened. Drone is nice and safe hovering there. All right, let's get back to the tests, okay? And I'm gonna fly full forward as you can see full forward oh my god look at this improvement it has stopped this far oh my god it stopped this far okay last time when I ran the quad into me at full speed I had to move away and that was before calibrating the sensor so I'm gonna go far this way so quad will pick up some speed I'm gonna come full forward into me Ah! Uh, ah! Uh.
Look at that! Look at that! Last time I had to move away because quad was going to hit me but this time after calibrating it's stopping at a very good distance. Okay now I'm gonna go farther I'm gonna start recording the screen as well so you can see at what speed the drone is flying before it stops. Okay go down a bit come full forward you can see full forward I'm coming in the way of the drone oh my god we got a love Hobson for this look at the improvement look at the improvement right here people I'm showing you everything nice and clear straight away no mixing no lying no cheating here okay so this was this now I, I can actually fly it in the fence once again at full speed and see what happens. Full forward. Look, it is stopped at a very, very good distance. Man, really, this is the, this is the thing that is improved right after calibration, you know? So you have to calibrate your drone a vision positioning system people you must calibrate because you saw the test before calibration I was able to hit the uh, you know leaves I was able to cut the leaves and stuff and you know running the drone into me flying the drone into me at full speed I have to move away but today you saw that after calibrating the you know obstacle avoidance vision positioning system how the drone is stopping right in time at a safe distance no matter if it is coming at full speed towards you or towards the object now someone requested me that how do you fly these sweet figure eights manually well a new video tutorial is coming your way and I will show you my stick movements how to fly these sweet figure eights manually. Now the point is clear why you should calibrate your vision positioning system on Hudson Zeno Mini Pro and why you should keep the front and rear sensors clean and check before every flight that front rear and bottom sensors are clean very nice and clean before each flight so there's a huge improvement after the calibration of vision positioning system you have watched my first test without calibration of obstacle avoidance or vision positioning system i ran the quad into those uh, shrub those leaves i cut the leaves almost crashed into me i had to move away when it was coming at me but now it stops at a very nice and safe distance it breaks in time it breaks with the right force and it stops at the safe distance so it's not gonna crash and you can fly worry free at full speed forward but remember only in normal or film mode in expert mode obstacle avoidance sensors will not work and do remember when you are flying in normal mode check that little red circle with a cross out and an arrow uh, aircraft arrow in the middle make sure it's not red make sure you click it and see it's white and that means obstacle avoidance is turned on and then you can fly it safely so honestly Epson Zeno Mini Pro is seriously impressive I mean, it is just getting better and better after each update and uh, I wish that Hubson will release the rest of the features as soon as possible and I will do my best to post videos ASAP I can once those uh, you know features have been released. Thank you very much for watching this video. Give it a big thumb up. Stay subscribed to my channel and if you haven't subscribed do it right away. Click that little bell icon and stay updated for all the upcoming uploads. Now let's move on to more videos more testing.
If you have any questions, any feedback, any comments, feel free to put them in video description. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work. That I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button. Right there. Thank <laughs> you.